Right, this is fourth grade social studies, uh, unit two, lesson one, on how did early people live in California. 500 years ago, there were no Europeans living in what is now California. Instead, there were California Indians living in many different groups all over the area. What was life like in early California? That's what we're today. <clears throat> California Indian groups. Many American Indian groups have lived and still live in what is now California. Many archaeologists have learned about the history of California Indians by studying their artifacts or objects that were made by people long ago. Archaeologists are scientists who study how people lived in the past. Archaeologists have learned that most of California's Indian groups used the natural resources in their area to survive. For example, most California Indians wove grasses, roots, and bushes into baskets and mats. Trees were used to build homes and boats. Animal bones were used to make tools. If groups ended up with more of these items than they needed, they might have traded them with other groups. To trade something is to exchange goods and services. In other words, when you uh, don't like a toy that you have or something and you want someone else's, you would trade with them. And the California Indians did the same thing. If they had too many baskets and they needed, say, a fur for uh, uh, clothing or something, then they could trade with those other Indian groups. Trade allowed California Indian groups to use a variety of different tools and food. The Cahuilla and Chumash Indians. The Cahuilla lived near what is now called the Mojave Desert. They hunted antelope and small animals. They lived in a type of reed house called a quiche. And uh, this is where the Cahuilla Indians lived. We live about right in here and so you can see that it's really close to the area that we live in and if you've ever been out to Palm Springs that would be Cahuilla Indian Territory. They lived in a type of reed house called a quiche. The Cahuilla women had a tradition of basket weaving. A tradition is a special way that a group does something which is part of their way of life. The baskets were used to store food and water. It was also a tradition for Cahuilla men to sing, <clears throat> um, to sing what are now called bird songs. These songs told stories about the Cahuilla people. The Chumash mainly lived along the south central part of California's Pacific coast, near what are now the cities of Santa Barbara and Los Angeles. That's over in this area here. So we live down here somewhere, and you can see where the Chumash would live. They ate acorns, fish, shellfish, whales, and seabirds, you know, because they live by the ocean, so they would eat whale. You can see why the Cahuilla would not eat whale, because they don't live anywhere near where, where whales are. <clears throat> they also hunted deer and small animals. Chumash traditions, including included a great respect for large, powerful birds called condors. Chumash houses were shaped like domes and covered with woven grass. Because they lived near the ocean, Chumash made tools from whale bones and used clamshells as money when trading. The Miwok and the Hoopa most of the Miwok lived near the Sierra Nevada. In the winter, that would be in this area right here of California, near the mountains. In the winter, they lived in dirt-covered houses that were built halfway underground for warmth. In the summer, they lived in bark houses above ground to keep cool. Some Miwok lived along uh, the Pacific coast near what is now San Francisco. That would be over here. Um, the Miwok had a custom of using holes in slabs of stone to grind acorns into flour. A custom is a way of 
a way a group of people does something. You can see acorn seeds right here. We have acorns around here. They come off oak trees and they would grind those here uh, and using a mortar and a, a mortar and a pistol and that would make it into flour. And then they could make you know different kinds of um, things, bread products. The Hoopa lived in Northern California's coast ranges near the present day Oregon border, right up here. They hunted elk and deer and they fished for salmon, trout, and, and sturgeon. Acorns were another important source of food. One Hoopa custom was to build their rectangular homes out of cedar wood planks. Um, <clears throat> the houses were about 20 feet long. Their bottom halves were built underground. And when a house is built partly underground, that's to control temperature in the house, that's called semi-subterranean. Semi means half, sub means under, and terrain, as you probably know, means the ground. So semi-subterranean means halfway underground. And I know this picture isn't very clear, but it gives you a little bit of an idea of what a Hoopa Indian house would look like. Ceremonies and stories. Thousands of California Indians live in our state today. Many still honor the beliefs or things held as true or real of their people. Beliefs have been part of their religion, which is a system of faith and worship for hundreds of years. Many Chumash believe, believed in three worlds. They believe that an eagle lives in the upper world, humans live in the middle world, and two serpents live in the lower world and hold, hold up the middle world. Ceremonies have played a large part in many California Indian beliefs. The Hoopa held ceremonies for the purpose of preventing earthquakes, floods, or crop failures. In some, cust um, in some Miwok ceremonies, people still dance in costumes made from animal skins and feathers. California Indians often pass along their traditions and beliefs through legends or old, well-known stories. A myth is a story that explains something. One Cahuilla myth tells about twin brothers who created the world. 